<laughs> and realising I was never going to be as important to him as guitars or his fucking band. And I never was as important to him as his guitars or his music or his fucking band. Um, but the reason is he absolutely loved this. He would have loved to know if he was here. He, he loved music more than anything else. He, he began as a rock star, he ended as a rock star, and in between he was a talent agent, <laughs> making people stars, uh, miserable wretches like me. And um, <clears throat> he was a unique individual, John. Uh, one of the most extraordinary people I've ever met in my entire life. He was a, a force for ridiculous positivity. He would make everyone that came into his orbit think they were the most important person that had ever existed and they were going to be the biggest star that ever lived. And then it was down to you if you could rise to the challenge of being the greatest human being that ever walked the planet. But he empowered all of us to feel, I think, very special. Um, for me, it was more about friendship with John. And a lot of his very good friends are here. Most of his clients were good friends. You know, I came to LA a week ago, had no idea he'd gone to hospital. We had a few dinners planned, a few fun parties, a few meetings where we'd just talk bullshit and be told to get out of the room, but it'd be great fun. And then I found out he was very ill and he never recovered. Um, John was 59, but he packed more into the last 10 years of his life than you can imagine, because 10 years ago, if you don't know the story, he died. And he shouldn't really have, have survived what happened to him. He flatlined, his uh, heart gave up for three minutes, they brought him round, somehow saved him, then he got fired, most of his clients left, a few of us stayed and a few are in the room tonight. And we never regretted that because John then gave us absolutely everything he had. Um, but ultimately, what John was really about was, was this. It, he wasn't about really making people television stars or this or that or the other. He was really about music and this band and he was so excited about the tour that was coming up in England and I was going to see these guys and uh, it's, you know, it's heartbreaking that John might be on that tour and it's heartbreaking to not see him perform tonight. It's been difficult to watch the band play without him but an amazing job guys, seriously. Thank you very much. <laughs> I thought he'd be really excited about some of my news, you know, I, I'd landed this role or this job, whatever. When he told me that Clem Burke had joined the Terrorways, I've never seen a human being more excited in my life. In my life. In fact, the only time I've seen him more excited was when he played bass in some dingy room with Paul McCartney. And I still, all I know is I see that picture on his Instagram every three weeks, just in case there's anyone left in the world who never saw it. Uh, so, John loved his music, he loved the Tearaways. He loved the Tearaways nearly as much as he loved the Beatles. Not quite, but nearly. Um, and it's a massive loss to all of us. It's a massive loss to all his clients, all his friends. Particularly, I think, the band. Uh, the good news is, the tour will go on. The guys, the guys will be going to England. Uh, I'll be there if anyone wants to come on over and have a laugh with the Terraways. Get, get on a plane to go on with the Terraways. Uh, John loved touring England. He was an Irish Catholic like me. I explained a lot of our issues. And uh, he, he loved touring over there. And uh, It's going to be a great thing. But I just want to say, I think, on behalf of uh, a John to the band, uh, what he meant to you guys, um, what you meant to him. It was his life. You know, he, he loved the band and the tearaways and the music and the touring and the racing around and everything else more than anything else. Apart from his dogs. Uh, he loved his dogs more. But apart from the dogs, uh, he loved the band the most in his life and we as clients were humble and obedient second best servants to the fact that John's true love was this. So uh, it's a special night to see you guys here. Enjoy the tour, uh, do him proud, make it a tribute tour to John Ferreter because he was a special guy and I decided to propose a toast to one of the great people I've ever known, John Ferreter. And uh, boys, just, just have one more song, shall we, for John, yeah? yeah. 